Good morning, Jamie. This is your wake-up call. <laughs> hey, stop! You told me to get you out of bed at 7.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. All uh, right. That's because the early bird gets the worm. Summer vacation's only a few weeks away. I want to look for a job and make some money. That'll be nice for a change. Instead of working, why don't you do what you always do? What's that? Hit your father for a loan. <laughs> no, I do that too much. I'd like to show him I have some initiative between loans. That'll be nice for a change. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a wise guy. Breakfast ready, Ken? Oh, just about. Mmm, mmm, flapjacks. Yeah. Mmm, my favorite. Flip me a stack, Mickey. <laughs> Gee, only four. <laughs> Don't expect a tip. Jamie, put away the paper. You can read the comics after breakfast. I'm not reading the comics, Mom. That's for kids. Yeah, Mom, that's for kids. Garfield eats Snoopy yet? <laughs> the want ads. The want ads? Oh, well, my friends are getting summer jobs to make a little extra dough, so I thought I would, too. I've been a burden on you and Dad long enough. Oh, I get your boots on, honey. Getting a little deep in here. <laughs> I mean it, Dad. Ordinarily, I'd hit you up for a raise in my allowance. But that was before I matured. You hit me up for a raise in your allowance just yesterday. See how fast I've matured? <laughs> how about some breakfast, Vicky? <laughs> Thanks. I didn't expect a tip. <laughs> See any interesting jobs? Yeah, here's one. Earn a thousand dollars a week in your spare time. I'll take it, I'll take it. Give me the phone. <laughs> Hello? Anybody here? Boy. I wish my mom could see this mess. Makes my room look good. <laughs> ah, hiya, kids. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Jamie Lawson, and this is my sister, Vicky. How are you? I'm Sid Barker. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But it comes right off. Don't worry about it. See? I see. <laughs> Parker, I'm looking for a part-time job. One that pays a thousand dollars a week. Without the use of a handgun? <laughs> I'm not afraid of hard work, Mr. Barker. Look, kid, I like your spirit, but I think you're a little too young. Oh, I'm not too young. I'm a mature 12. <laughs> 12? I got socks older than you. <laughs> Excuse me. I've got to do something quick to prove to him that I'm a terrific worker. Hey, got it. Here, clean this place up on the double. On the double. <laughs> to get me the job. When it comes to salary, I hope he's not as cheap as he looks. <laughs> so, as I was saying, kids, I'd like to help you out, but I, I... Hey, what's going on here? It's clean. I just thought I'd give you a sample of my work. Can you use me? Are you kidding? If you could cook, I'd marry you. <laughs> Tell you what, you start work tomorrow. Afternoons and Saturdays, okay? Great! How about salary? I hope you're not as cheap as you look. 
Uh, she's just kidding. The money really isn't that important. Tell you what, I'll give you a dollar an hour, okay? Well, it's a little more important than that. <laughs> All right, two dollars an hour, but that's it. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. But you have to hire my sister, too. Sure, no problem. Same deal. Two dollars an hour each? No, two dollars for the both of you. He's as cheap as he looks. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to her. I'll take it. It's a deal. Deal. You got it. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's not all bad, Vicky. You do all the work, and I get all the money. You're as cheap as he looks. <laughs> Ted, please, uh, not in front of the plants. <laughs> Honey, I'd rather they learn it here than out in the streets. <laughs> Honey, I'm a little concerned about Jamie. Don't you think he's too young to get a job? No. Honey, do you realize all the jobs I had when I was Jamie's age? You did? Like what? Well, I delivered newspapers, mowed lawns, walked dogs, shoveled snow. Wait a minute. Shoveled snow? You grew up in Florida. <laughs> Didn't say I made a lot of money at it. <laughs> Well, that's terrific, Jamie. Congratulations, hon. What kind of job? Cleaning up at Sis Garage on afternoons and on Saturdays. I got a job, too. You did? I've been a burden on you and Dad long enough. <laughs> you know, actually, it's not a bad idea for Vicky to get work. I mean, she has to have new experiences if we want her to be more human, right? Yeah, and I'll be there to keep an eye on her, and she'll learn from watching me. Right, Vicky? Right. I'll learn how you sit around on your behind while I do all the work. <laughs> Boy, after two days of this, I'm pooped. This is hard work. It'll be easier if you use a straw. <laughs> Don't be a smart aleck robot. Here, read this repair manual. Educate yourself. Educate myself. I'm educated. Fire again, Mr. Carson. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid you're going to have to leave it for a couple of days. Oh, no. What's the problem? Hey, friend, I just fix them. I don't explain them. <laughs> Try her again, Mr. Carson. What? Try her again, Mr. Carson. <laughs> That's incredible. Hey, kid, from now on, you'll be known as Vicky Goodwrench. <laughs> Thanks, little girl. You're fantastic. Put it on my account, Sid. Sure. Hey, wait a minute. You don't have an account. I do now. <laughs> Mr. Barker, if I weren't such a bashful kid, I'd bring up the subject of arrays. You're about as bashful as a great white shark. <laughs> but you keep up the good work, kid. You never know. I'll show him, Vicky. I'm gonna work real hard and get a raise out of him if it kills me. You mean you'll get a raise out of him if it kills me? <laughs> Screwdriver. Wrench. Hey! Sid! Don't tell me your horn is stuck. No! Sid, you're not going to believe this. That little girl is a genius. 
Since she fixed my engine last week, I'm getting 124 miles to a gallon. 124 miles to a gallon? What do you live on a hill? That's it, I mean it. I'm getting 124 miles to a gallon. Holy moly! I'm a genius. <laughs> when people hear about this, crowds will be lined up around here for miles to be fixed. Sid, this little girl's gonna make you rich. Uh, Vicky, honey, come here, darling. Uh, tell Uncle Sid, how do you do it? Uh, she's just mechanically inclined. It's a gift. You know, like a photographic memory or a perfect pitch? Perfect pitch. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Dad, this is our boss, Mr. Barker. Oh, hi. How are you? Just call me Sid. Hi, Sid. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry, I was uh, greasing the motor here. <laughs> Don't worry, it comes right off. <laughs> See? Yeah, thanks, Vicky. You're a uh, your big help. Mm. Uh, hi. Uh, Sid, this is my wife, Joan. Uh, honey, this is Sid, uh, the kid's boss. Uh, please sit down. <laughs> thank you. How do you do? Oh, fine. We really want to thank you for giving our children a job. Hey, that was my lucky day. It's turning out to be more than just the job. Mr. Barker wants to make us partners. Partners? Why would you want to do that? I don't know how Vicky does it, but that kid does something to a car's fuel injection system that's fantastic. That is, an, an, unless it's a fluke. What kind of fluke? One that makes a car get 124 miles to the gallon. <laughs> what? It's no fluke, Dad. I had Vicky read all the mechanic's manuals at the garage. She's a mechanical wonder, that kid. And out of the goodness of my heart, I'm willing to make Vicky a partner. 50-50. 50-50? Will she take 60-40? <laughs> Sid, Sid, listen, I really appreciate your offer, but I think that we... 70-30. <laughs> Sid, listen, I, I think we really need some time to think about this. Uh, sure, sure, I understand. I understand perfectly. No rush. I'll be waiting outside in front in my car. <laughs> Do you believe that he just offered us 70% of his business? 80-20. <laughs> well, I think we better find out more about this and uh, maybe even consult a lawyer. Good idea, Dad. We've got to get the best deal we can. We're partners 50-50. 60-40. Vicky, I'm your brother. 70-30. <laughs> Boy, kid learns fast, huh? Vicky, go set the table for dinner, please. Do you believe that? After all I've done for her, she wants to make it 70 30. 80 20! <laughs> Mr. Lawson? Yes? Good morning. I'm Norman Hopps with the Automated Auto Parts Corporation. I'd appreciate a few moments of your time. It's quite important. Well, I... Come on in. It's my wife, Joan. I'll get right to the point. We've learned about your daughter's discovery, and we would be proud to introduce the world to the fabulous Lawson Fuel Injection System. The Lawson <laughs> Fuel Injection System? Sounds very impressive, Mr. Oh, Hopps. Yeah, it's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> of course, we don't want to rush into anything. As you know, haste makes waste. Yes, sir. I have a check made out to you for $500,000. On the other hand, he who hesitates is a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, please. Thank you. Well, in that case, Mr. Lawson, is it a deal? All you have to do is sign on the dotted line. Well, I would like to uh, co consult with my wife first. Uh, Joni, uh, what do you think? Got a pin. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yes. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
Good morning, madam. I am Sheikh Abdullah Hakim. Hello. You are Mrs. Lawson? Yes. I had no idea I would be met with such a vision of loveliness. Madam, you are a banquet for the eyes. Oh, my. You can cut the desert song, Abdullah. My dear friend, Norman. You two know each other? Does the mongoose know the cobra? <laughs> Always pleasure to see you, Norman. And you too, Abdullah. How are all your wives? Don't ask. One gets a headache, they all get a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Ted Lawson. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. What can I do for you, uh, Sheik? Mr. Lawson, my government is vitally interested in acquiring the rights to your secret fuel injection system. Boy, the word gets around. <laughs> well, you're too late this time, Abdullah. I've already offered them $500,000 for it. Camel feed. <laughs> Curious, why would an oil producing country want an invention that could radically reduce oil consumption? Simple economics. First they buy it, then they take it out into the desert and bury it. That makes sense. <laughs> but not this time. I'll raise that $500,000 to a million. A mi million? Two million. Three million. Four million. <laughs> And I'll throw in six wives and one camel. Six wives? You drive a hard bargain. Make that one wife, six camels. <laughs> one no, 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 please, gentlemen. Your offers are very generous, but uh, this is too big a decision to make on a spur of the moment. We're going to have to have a little time to think about this. That's right. I, I hope you understand, Mr. Hobbs, yes. and, and you too, Mr. Camel. Uh, uh, honey, that's uh, Mr. Cobra. I mean, uh, it's uh, Sheik, uh, Sheik Hakim. <laughs> well, yeah. Your wish is my command. We will await your decision. After you. After you. Uh, whatever he offers, I'll top. And I'll top him. <laughs> we're rich, we're rich, we're rich, we're rich. Oh, honey, we can have everything we've ever wanted. Oh, we'll travel to exotic places. A Rolls Royce for each day of the week. Look in a beautiful mansion. Yeah, with new furniture. Oh. Honey, that lamp, you see that lamp? Mm -hmm. This lamp right over here, I have always hated this lamp. Yeah, that's expensive. So what? We'll buy a new lamp. We'll buy a lamp factory, honey. Come on, we're rich. <laughs> no! 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 That chair, honey. I've always hated that chair. Right here. Right. Not to mention this table right here. I hated this table. Tim, not the table too. Of course the table too, honey. I mean, let's do this right, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this, honey. Ugly pillow. Ugly pillow. Yeah. Ugly, ugly pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Another ugly pillow, huh? <laughs> we're rich, we're rich, we're rich. No. <laughs> what happened in here? <coughs> Holy moly! Hi, join the fun. Break something. How you doing, partner? <laughs> you can forget that partner stuff. It's all over. What do you mean all over? What's the matter? It's all those cars Vicky fixed to get 124 miles to the gallon. You mean they're not getting 124 miles to the gallon? <laughs> oh, they're getting it all right. Well, then what's the problem? After one tank full of gas, the engine blows. <laughs> blows. <laughs> blows. Blows. <laughs> oh, no. I'm through fixing cars. I'm going into some other business. Maybe I'll repair washing machines. I'm sorry, Mom. Dad. Goodbye to all our riches. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't make any money on this deal. But let's look on the bright side. We didn't lose any either. Oh, no? 
What about all that furniture you wrecked? See, there is no bright side. <laughs> Mickey, why didn't you tell us those engines were gonna blow? Hey, friend, I just fix them. I don't explain them. <laughs> She's a small wonder. 